Alright guys, welcome to the... I don't know. Let's see. It's actually the 19th uh, Java game development tutorial. And as you can see here, this one is going to be about joints. And it's also time already, because we don't want this cast to look like this one, which is pretty old. So let's just get started and mess with this project right here. So you see there's an error in this... Uh, oh already cool emails again um, in this class here and that's because I said that I modified this but I just make this uh, how it was before and alright so the screen that we are actually going to change today is the play screen again like we did in the last few episodes and what we actually want to do is if we start this up we can see it better um, yeah, we want to get started with joints. So what are joints in the first place? Um, joints are actually a way to... Um, yeah, there are constraints uh, actually to yeah, be exact. Uh, so you can... Um, then what's, the, what's the word? You could like create a rope or a distance joint or some stuff like that. You're gonna see it right now. Okay, so... Um, we just want to create another box and that's going to be 7 meters over the ground and then we are going to uh, connect the box with the Luigi inside uh, to that box up there so it won't go off anywhere. Um, Alright, so let's just go ahead and create the other box and the body definition is going to be hello if eclipse allows us to all right um body definition dot position dot y is going to be 7 so it's 7 meters over the ground we don't need to change the type because it's still a static body from here and we want it to be static um then what can we do for example uh, the fixture definition obviously but we need a shape so this is going to be a let's just go with a circle shape Let's actually go with the polygon shape. Other box shape, and that's going to be a new polygon shape. And the other box shape is going to be set as box, obviously, and uh, just half meter by half meter. Remember, these are just the half height and half width. Um, then we take the fixture def and set the shape to the other box shape and the fixture dev dot actually we don't care about the rest because this is going to be a static body so who cares then we can um, we wanna get this body of the box so body other box equals world dot create body from the body definition and then uh, the box dot create fixture from the fixture definition and then we don't need the uh, box shape anymore so other box shape dot this pause okay so you already knew about all this stuff um, now the interesting part about actually creating um, a connection between the other box and the player so let's say we create a distance joint this is going to keep the player and this box on a always uh, the same distance. So it can get closer and it can go far away from this. Uh, let's just say distance joint between other box and player. Actually box because that's what, it, uh, what we named the variable like. So to do this, we are going to use a distance joint def. It's the same concept as with bodies and fixtures. You always have a definition, and that's it. Actually, all these distance joint def and whatever other joint defs there are, the uh, they all are a joint def, j whatever, uh, with a type set to joint def dot joint type dot distance joint friction joint gear type mouse joint that's what uh, you can imagine it but instead of setting the type manually you can also just use a distance joint def and maybe it does some other stuff uh, as well but not much so let's say 
uh, yeah, distance joint def to keep it simple, and this is going to be a new distance joint def initiation and import everything. All right, and for that thing, we want to set a couple of things. So uh, you can see what kind of suggestions uh, suggestions <laughs> we have here. And probably the most basic thing about joints is body A and body B. And that's probably what you can imagine it. A joint connects two bodies, so you, we need to specify these two bodies into these fields. So distance joint def dot body A is going to be the other box. And distance joint def dot body B is going to be box. So what is box? Just uh, to quickly remember you. Hello Eclipse, you are fast today again. Uh, open declaration and that was confusing. There we go. Box is the first thing that we actually create here. So that's also what we where we put the Luigi in in here. But anyway, it doesn't matter which body you put in which of these two fields at all. Actually, yeah, it doesn't matter at all. So Let's go ahead and set distance joint def dot length, and uh, that is also pretty self-explanatory. And this is uh, the distance on which these two uh, bodies should be kept. So let's say they are always on a distance of I don't know um, five. Yeah, that's cool. Um, what else do we have to set? I think we don't have to set anything else. Damping ratio, frequency, has whatever. Uh, we don't care about them, okay? But for now, we are just going to say world dot create joint from the distance joint definition, just as the same with the bodies. So this is pretty simple, actually, and the result that we get is actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and have a look at it. And there we go. They are always kept on the same distance. The Luigi doesn't get closer and he doesn't get farther away from him. Um, yeah. Also we notice that the joint is fixed to the center of the body. So um, yeah, you can see the blue line is always in the center of the specified body. We could also change this, but we are actually going to create another joint right now. Let's create a joint that um, uh, you can see he falls down and then he goes up. So let's create another joint that limits the Luigi from going up too far from the ground. Okay, he's not allowed to jump too high. For that, we're going to use a rope joint between the ground body and the Luigi. So let's create a rope joint between ground and box. Rope joint def, just simply the name of the joint and def after it. Um, rope joint def equals new rope joint def and import it and rope join def dot body a is gonna be the ground you could also make it the luigi it totally doesn't matter and rope join def dot body b is gonna be box uh, then rope join def dot max length because a rope joint is um, basically a distance joint that has, uh, yeah, that it just has a limit into infinity. So it can just be as as long as this or smaller. Let's say at f four meters um, he has to stop. So this ground body doesn't exist yet. Let's go ahead and create it. Here we create the ground. So we'll just. Uh, catch this ground body from the create body method and that's it. So now this body exists and this should work. 
rope joint death. Let me just make sure I didn't forget anything. No, not for now. World dot create joint again. Rope joint death. And we should be good to go. Well, a little bit good to go. So you see, he's immediately pulled down because uh, he's just allowed to go four meters away from the ground. So one thing you might be wondering now is what is this actually? This line, the joint, actually goes out um, something like one meter from the actual body and down here if you can see the colors uh, you see that actually this is where the center of the ground is but the joint starts there. So what's with that? Um, I don't really know why they did this but there are these things here. Let's see. Rope joint definition dot local enter A and local enter B. And they are just a vector too, so just another coordinate with X and Y. Um, and initially, initially they are set to 0, 1 and uh, for body A. Uh, yeah, on, on okay, for, for body A they are initially set like this. And for body B, they are initially set like this. I have no idea why they did this, but I don't care because uh, we are just going to say set 0, 0. So it's going to be the center of the body. Set 0, 0. This is going to, yeah, get the enter into the center of the body just like with a distance joint def. So actually every joint has this local enter A and local enter B. We could go ahead and say for the distance joint we want uh, the local enter A to be set to uh, let's say 7 3 and we'll get this doesn't really look like what it has been before but um, from this body 7 meters to the right and 3 meters up and there we are. So it's always relative to the body specified. Uh, of course that doesn't really make any sense so let's take it out. Oh Well this whole scenario doesn't make any sense as well but who cares. So this uh, joint on the top here always keeps the two bodies on a uh, on the same distance and the joint down there um, allows to get smaller but doesn't allow to go over a certain range specified in max length so in this uh, case 4 meters. What else can we do with joints? Um, we can do crazy things with joints actually. Um, let me think of something we could... okay no, actually, we are not going to do this in this episode because it's already 13 minutes long. So, thanks for watching and I hope I didn't go over this too fast or anything. Um, for now, joints are actually pretty simple. Not really anything uh, crazy. But make sure to always set body A and body B, otherwise you're going to get an old pointer exception and everything is going to crash. Um, Alright, so thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.